everyone, how are you doing? I'm Ashok. Welcome to a brand new series on Mathematics for Data Science. In this series, we'll be focusing on essential mathematics for machine learning and data science. The topics are mostly focused on linear algebra, which is a very important aspect, of, uh, aspect to understand many of the machine learning concepts. We look into probability, as well as a bit of calculus, mostly derivative part, and the theorems related to that. So in this video, let's discuss about the first episode of linear algebra, which is a vector. What is a vector? So if you if, if you look at it, you know, vector has a direction and scalars have no direction. This, this, this much we already know. So if you want to represent a vector on a linear scale, so I'm taking a two-dimensional linear scale, 2D. So you have Just a second. Okay, so two dimensional linear scale x and y. So if you draw a line, something like this, for example, that's too broad. Let me draw a line. Okay, um, all right, so this is a vector, it has a direction, I'm giving a direction. Okay, and this can be represented by uh, two units on the x-axis and three units on the y-axis. So this can be represented as two and three. And this is a, a two-dimensional vector, okay. And if you want to represent the three dimensional vector, so basically this 2 is corresponding to x and this is corresponding to y. If you are looking at a three dimensional vector, so the same concept, you will be saying let's say 2, 3, and let's say 5, which represents corresponding axes, units and corresponding axes. Alright, so that's a convention. That's a simple vector. Alright, and uh, let's talk about a bit of operations, vector additions. When you try to add Two different vectors. All right. So, for example, let let me take another vector. Take a, a green one a vector, and um, let's say this is an, another vector again. Okay. Okay. So this vector is uh, four units on the x and two units on the y. So the green vector is four comma two. Okay. If you want to add these two vectors, then the way we do in, 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 in vector addition is, is pretty straightforward. So we say two, three and plus four and two and we add the corresponding variables, x with x and y with y. This gives the results in 6 and 5. Okay, visually if you look at, <coughs> visually if you look at, we can imagine, visualize this as, this vector can be drawn over here, 4 units, 4 units this side, and then two units, so something like this, okay, and then you can simply add this both of the vectors resulting <coughs> a new vector, and this vector would be as we have calculated six units in your x-axis, the, the violet one, so let it be a violet color one. So six units in your x-axis and five units in your y-axis. And this is a simple vector addition. This is a simple vector addition. Okay. Then what's the subtraction? Vector subtraction 
is in a very uh, similar way. But just that when you subtract a vector, we reverse it. Actually, we reverse the sign of the vector. The direction of the vector goes from here to here. So let me take in another another new layer. So let me recreate these two vectors again. There is a vector which is let's say uh, 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 okay and uh, another vector which is wait a minute no the last one was slightly different okay the first vector is actually 2 comma 3 that's what we have taken before and the second vector is your 4 comma 2 okay so when you're subtracting it we actually take a negative for example this let me call this as a vector vector a so when, when it's a vector we can put a small directional arrow over it that representing it's a vector okay so we have seen a plus b now we are looking at a minus b so when you say minus we reverse the vector all right and then uh, it becomes negative for example the vector b is 4 comma sorry 4 2 represented like this and the vector a is 2 1 3 so when we say a minus b we're talking about 3 2 minus 4 and 2 again from a numerical perspective it's straightforward we are subtracting x uh, you know x from x and y from y which results in minus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1 okay so if you want to look into look into visual aspect how, how it reflects visually this is how it is so when you when you're reversing uh, the b vector it becomes minus 4 minus b is actually minus 4 minus 2 so which means minus 4 here and minus 2 here so this will be the this will be the vector minus b so this is this is your minus b minus b okay and a reminds the a all right so if you add basically now it's a minus b so we're simply adding a plus minus b which is a minus b so i can i can either take a and then minus b i can put it over there so i'm going to take the green color again and try to do the same thing one two one two three four one two so i'm going to draw a line one two three four and one two three four and one two all right so that's your line so uh, that's actually minus b positioned um, at the tail of a so that it it becomes you know the matrix multiplication so the adding this origin and the the end of this common point like end of this b which is reverse b actually minus b to be correct all right so this will be your this will be your resultant of this subtraction and that's pretty straightforward to see that it's minus 2 and 1 which is exactly same as this so this is your subtraction matrix subtraction so addition and subtraction in in matrix is pretty straightforward and probably this video has given you a visual idea of how the addition subtraction look like it looks like the linear space okay and that's it for this video in the next videos we'll explore further operations with matrix and vectors i'll see you in the next video thank you